guys welcome back so this week we're going to be working on a couple things we're going to be working on rounding and we're going to be working on looking at numbers and breaking them down into their different forms so for today's video i'm going to remind you guys how to round so i made this anchor chart here for you you're more than welcome to print it out or create your own of course i love looking at all of you guys who are creating their own and sending them to me they look so 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 great so keep it up guys you guys are doing such such a good job so today we're going over rounding. I'll go ahead and break it up step by step and then we'll do some examples together, of course, just so you can get some good practice in. So rounding, our step one is to find the rounding place and underline it. So let's say the question says round 1,234 to the nearest hundred or hundreds place. So what you would do is you would get your marker, your pencil, and you would underline the number that's in the hundred place. So in this case, the number that's in the hundred place is two, because it's 234. So 234, underlined two. Step one, check. Step two is to look at the digit to its right. So once we see that digit, we're gonna put a box around it. So what I have is another marker, or you can use the same pencil, and put a box around that number. So in this case, it's a three. Step three is to ask yourself, is that box number four or less or five or more? Because that's what we are de using to determine where we are rounding. So in this case, three is four or less because it's a number that's smaller than four. Remember, four or, le four or less, let it rest. Or if it's five or more, you're gonna raise the score. You're gonna go up a number. So in this case, three is less. We determined that. So step four is to rewrite the new rounded number and everything after the rounded number becomes a zero. So because this number tells us to rest, which means we're not going anywhere, this two is gonna stay the same. Because remember, we're rounding to the nearest um, hundreds place. So let's say if this number was a seven, we would have rounded up, this two would go up one to three. But since it's four or less, we're letting it rest. So our new number becomes 1,200 because our two stays the same and everything after that rounded number becomes a zero. So using this to help us, I have some examples. Okay, I'm trying to fit it both here, but that's probably not gonna work. But we'll just refer to it. All right, so example, we're getting the same number, 1,234, and we're rounding it to the nearest tens, hundreds, and thousands. So step one says to find the rounding place and underline it. So if we're rounding to the nearest tens place, our number in our tens place is three. Next it says, look to the digit to its right and box it. Step three says to ask ourselves, is that box number four or less or is it five or more? So in this case, it is four or less, which means we are going to let it rest. So that means we are letting this three rest, which means it stays the same. So our last step is to rewrite that number. Let's do it. So this three stays the same, everything before it stays the same, so it's still 1,200, three stays the same, and this number becomes a zero because we're rounding to the nearest tens place. So this number rounded to the nearest tens place is 1,230. And you could say that makes sense because if you're just looking at the number 34 and pretending this number doesn't exist, is 34 closer to 30? or is it closer to 40? It's gonna be closer to 30. So 1,230 would be that number rounded to the tens place. All right, this one is kind of a review. Maybe it sounds a little familiar. Round it to the nearest hundreds place. We're gonna go ahead and underline the hundreds place, which in this case, it is a two. We are going to box its number to the right. We are going to ask ourselves: is three greater than five or less than four? 
it is less than four, so four or less, we're going to let our two let it rest. So remember, when we're writing our new number, our one stays the same. Our two, because we're gonna let it rest, stays the same. And everything else turns into zeros. Perfect. Oh, I did that in the wrong color. I hope you guys forgive me. All right, next one. Thousands. We're going to go ahead and underline the thousands, please. All right, next we are going to box the number to its right. Perfect. And now we're going to look at this number. Two is four or less, so we are going to let it rest. So we're going to let that one rest. We're rounding to the nearest hundreds place. Sorry, thousands place, so our one stays the same. Everything else turns into zeros. And if you think about it, that makes sense because is 1,234 closer to 1,000 or is it closer to 2,000? It's closer to 1,000. All right, I wanna do one more example using a different number. I'm just gonna do it on the back here. We are going to use the number 6,700, oops, 61, sorry, that's a little messy. 6,761. And let's say I wanted to round to the nearest 100. So we are going to underline the hundreds place. We are going to box the place value to its right. Then we ask ourselves, is this six? Is it five or more or is it four or less? It is five or more. So because it is five or more, we are going to raise the score. So this seven is going to go up by one. So remember, we're writing our new number now. Our six stays the same. We are rising our seven by one, so it turns into an eight, and everything after turns into a zero. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please, please, please message me on Emoto, call me on Zoom, whatever you guys wanna do, I am here for you, okay? Have a great, great day.